I'm happy to continue with the literature corner today um, and before I proceed with uh, today's message I want to just say hi to all of the new subscribers and I want to remind you that I keep the video length short by design because I realize that being online is costly in some countries um, so I decided on this route so that we don't compromise on you accessing the insight but in albeit in um, in malleable pieces if you are wanting longer content then first of all we need to look at um, increasing the views and subscription and so you need to activate your notification tabs and also subscribe and share the videos and then secondly you need to you need to let me know maybe we can allocate a specific day of the week to 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 to, to put something longer in longer format together for you so for today's message i want to shift focus to the opportunities with the advent of a neoliberal uh, dispensation and this dispensation has come with opportunity to share our unique brand of storytelling in various platforms. Uh, you get African female writers such as Ch uh, Nigeria's Chimamanda Adichie and South Africa's Sisonke Msimang who have set great precedent for future generations with their very own unique brand of storytelling by delving deep into the socio-economic issues of the day in their beauti beautifully constructed thought pieces. And so my question to you today is, when Chimamanda Adichie says, we should all be feminists. What do you take it to mean as female writer or more specifically African female writer? I put it to you that when Chimamanda Adichie says we should all be feminists, it is a challenge for you to seize the opportunity to reconstruct that narrative our mothers were either too busy enduring domestic and systemic hardship or the psycho-social effects thereof to tell. I put it to you that it therefore behooves you to reconstruct that ahistorical narrative and begin the re-education to readers about those African sheroes. And you can do this by converting even the daily minutia of our lives into prose. You can do this because of that deliberate effort to silence our role and contribution in the continent through the centuries. Now, while it is good to praise the work of others as warranted, do remember that Africa comprises of an entire 55 sovereign states. This is fantastic news because it allows for unprecedented plurality of views among female storytellers so there is room for all of us and we can do this by converting into prose our daily minutiae as indicated earlier but also leveraging that African epistemology and the range of indigenous languages at our disposal. So this is my challenge to you today. Be a feminist through your typewriter. 
weaponize that typewriter African women so below this video I would like to know about your favorite African female authors and the reason for this who knows they might just feature in my virtual book club uh, that exclusively showcases female authors so ensure that you are subscribed and join the interaction remember that as a member of the club you get to drive the content as well so that is my message until the next time keep writing everybody and be a feminist bye bye